Let's see how we can delete some or all files in a folder with UiPath. First off, we'll have the folder over here. It's the, on the C drive, the UiPath folder. We'll create some random files. We'll just create some text documents. And maybe a bitmap image like this. Then we'll uh, create the sequence in UiPath. So we could call that delete files like this. We double click to create the activity. We'll be using the .NET framework to make the code here. But first off, we'll need a for each. And that will be for each file instead of item. And then we'll uh, write directory here dot get files here and then we will have to put in the path of um, the folder over here and that will be we'll right click on this and copy address we could um, we could also just write it ourselves if we wanted and then we will have to put it in here Like this and we'll have to change the object to a string up here because they will come in as strings um, in the body we will delete the files and we could use the delete command in UiPath put it in here like this we'll have to tell UiPath uh, which file uh, to delete either a path or um, these files and we'll just call them file here and that should be it we are ready to run the whole thing let's see if that works so you have path run and the files over here are deleted so let's say that we only wanted to delete some of the text files and not the bit not the bitmap image, so we'll create some text files again here. Um, and then we will have, uh, let's say, two bitmap images. Like this. Then we have to go into here. We'll uh, press the three dots here, or we can write directly in here. It's a bit more easy to write here. All we have to do is uh, specify, um, write a comma, and then we can see we got uh, three um, suggestions. The first one we used was this, and now we will use, use a search pattern, and then we can just write in, let's say we wanted to delete the uh, text documents, and we'll write an asterisk.txt. And then quotation marks, and we could run this, and this will this one will only delete the text files. We could also have written BMP, and then we would have written deleted the bitmap images, or we could um, search for a specific file like uh, like new te text document five or whatever these are called. But this should do. So we'll click OK. We'll run it and check if it will only delete the new text documents. It did. And it um, we still got the new bit images, uh, bitmap images. Then we can um, we have another possibility. We could um, write in uh, a search option. Um, and then we could add it, we could choose between all directories or the top directory only. Um, so. We will, uh, for, per default, it's the top directory only, so we will try the uh, all directories like this. Um, we'll have to make another directory to test it like this. Uh, we could put in some text documents. We'll make a bit like this. We can even put some out here. Oh. 
like this. And then we could run it. And we've specified that it should uh, delete all, te all text files. Let's look at it again. It should delete all text files in all directories, subdirectories, that is. So not all not all directories on the computer, but subdirectories to the C dot C code colon UI path. But let's have a look. We will run it. Hopefully it will delete the text file. It deleted it out here. And it deleted the text files in here. And let's see what it does if we specify the top directory only. Top directory only like this. And we will just create some text documents here. We will create some text documents out here. Like this, and we're ready to run. So now it should only um, delete the text files in the in the top directory and not in the new folder because that's the subdirectory and it worked. So that is it. That's it for now. Have a good day. Bye bye.